In this video, we are going to know about a tool called Pinter. You may have seen Paint in Windows, which is used for some basic editing and it's very useful for cropping the images, etc. But by default, there, there's no tool available in Linux distributions um, that is comparable to that one. So we can install Pinter. That's an open source and again free tool, which is a very good, not just an alternative, a very good alternative to Paint, but it has various more features in it. Right. So here it's opened up. You can see on the left side, we have almost the same features like uh, this Paint one, Paint bucket, we have this color picker, we have the eraser, uh, uh, we have the select tool, moreover, we can select the colors and etc. Everything is almost the same, moreover, the text one, these are the same. The other important thing or the tool, uh, the thing which I uh, use it for most frequently one is uh, cropping the images, right? So let's uh, create an image. I've taken a screenshot. Let's open that up and crop it with the help of Pinder. So this is the screenshot, right? It's taken uh, when two screens are connected to the computer. And now if I want to crop it, I select it like this. Is the select tool let's say if i want to crop the other portion like this one and hit the crop button now here is the image press ctrl s and the updated image will disappear moreover let's do some other editing let's say let's write something here i am teaching Control S. Now the image would have this. The way to install it is very easy. I have shown that in one of the videos, but I show it in this video again. You just need to write sudo apt install pinta pinta hit enter into the password, and this one would show that it's already installed, right? Uh, it would not come as a default one in your system you can install it with the help of this command. That is it for this video. Thank you very much.